Coach Jam here from Rice Wealth, and I'm here to teach you how to do a kettlebell single leg deadlift. Um, so basically, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab that kettlebell, and it doesn't super matter which hand you're holding it in. Um, what I tell people is, you know, test both hands in whichever version is harder for you. Stick with that one, and I'll show you what that means in a, in a second here. So, I say, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that kettlebell, and I prefer, um, mainly because it's harder for me, Whatever hand I'm holding that kettlebell in is the leg that's planted. Now, if it's harder for the opposite for you, meaning opposite hand, opposite leg, go with that where you're doing your, your uh, single leg deadlift. Well, like I said, this version is um, harder for, for me. So that kettlebell is gonna be out to the side. The first thing I like to do is shift my weight into my leg that I'm working. So I'm gonna basically take my other foot and I'm gonna kinda go into uh, basically a, on my tiptoe, as I say, with the knee bent, and now my uh, weight is in that leg that's uh, working. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take those hips, and I'm gonna start pushing them back. The first thing you're gonna notice is my leg isn't necessarily going up towards the sky. It should be going behind you, like you're extending, trying to create a really long line. Um, so let me go ahead and continue. So pushing those hips back, and I say, really making sure that I'm feeling it in the back of my leg. You only need to go to the point where you feel in the back of the leg before coming on back up. And you can see, I wasn't getting my leg, you know, super high like this. Now, generally what happens when we get the leg super high is we get rotation through the hips. So let me go ahead and turn forward for you. We basically, when we're on the leg, we don't want to open the hips. We want to keep them nice and square to the floor as we're doing it. And say, when we start to open up, we start to lose it in the back of the leg. Um, but let me go ahead and actually show you a couple reps of this. So again, setting up, and say, um, it's in my right hand, I'm on my right leg. All the weight's in my right leg, I'm pushing my hip back. You can see my leg isn't super far off the ground. I say it also helps for balance purposes in case you fall over. Um, but one more time, bringing it back and then coming on back forward and really making sure that those hips stay nice and close. And I'm feeling it all, all through the back of that leg as I can feel it stretching down my calf through my hamstring into my glute. And that's how you do your single leg deadlift. 